The Accelerated Discovery Lab is all about helping people get not just information, but insight and predictive capability out of their data uh, faster than ever before. I think the important part of Accelerated Discovery for us is it's got to be done in collaboration with clients. They have a wealth of data themselves that they aren't necessarily taking advantage of yet. We can help them analyze the data that's there, of course, but even more powerful, by bringing that data into something like the Accelerated Discovery Lab, we can combine it with other sources of public data and actually come up with uh, insights and hopefully ways to improve their both top and bottom line. In general, we say what makes this whole problem a hard one is there's a set of data challenges around what IBM calls the four Vs of data, volume, velocity, variety, and veracity. And then there's a lot of different expertise that's needed to tackle those problems. And the advantage I think we can bring in this lab is we can actually bring all the skills, all the talent, all the expertise together with the full line of tools to help our clients very quickly get up to speed and start working through their challenges in the, the technical sense, the ones that will affect their business. In the pharmaceutical industry right now, R&D is really under a lot of pressure. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge market, uh, but it's extremely expensive to bring a drug to market, something on the order of $10 billion in 10 years uh, to bring your average drug out. And the reality is that 90% of the drugs they start to study end up falling out before they reach market. And you can't afford that long term. So what we're trying to do is find ways to better target which molecules, which drugs you should actually go after uh, in, in hopes of reducing, first of all, that fallout rate. So you don't spend money on research on drugs that will not end up uh, proving out in the marketplace, but also to find whole new drug avenues you might not have thought of to explore. Uh, and that's all by being able to read through large amounts of literature and patents and medical journals uh, to find those connections that a, a human being could find if they could only read all 12 million documents, uh, but this lets the, the system do it for you. I think that the key difference is we're thinking very broadly about how you integrate the text analytics, the big data analytics, with simulation, with clinical trials. That's one of the reasons it's very important for us to partner with pharmaceutical companies or whichever domain uh, industry that we're looking at. They have the expertise in terms of what they do today in doing their R&D and where their pain points are. We can then pick and choose from our technologies to figure out where we can solve those pain points. If we think about big data today, what we mostly have been using it for is to find answers and things uh, to our ideas that are already known. Increasingly, what we'd like to do is figure out ways to find things that aren't known within that data. How can we discover whole new fields of endeavor? How can we discover new ways to improve business productivity? Or how can we find new scientific discoveries we hadn't thought of in the past?